Britain is in the middle of a health revolution. We're spending 300 million pounds a year on pills that some believe to be an amazing natural way to prevent or even cure some of our most deadly diseases. And every day, millions of people take vitamin supplements convinced of their power to keep them healthy. If you want to lead a long and healthy life, eat right and take supplements. The discovery of vitamins was a landmark in modern medicine. It was the first example where we learned that diseases may be caused not just by infectious agents, but by the simple absence of a single substance from our diet, a vitamin. That a vitamin deficiency could be the cause of disease and death. Today, most of us take for granted a life free from the diseases caused by vitamin deficiency. Doctors now believe that a balanced diet with a mix of fruits, vegetables, grains and fats can give you the tiny amounts of vitamins needed to keep you in good health. They have called it the recommended daily allowance. Only in special cases such as pregnancy do doctors normally recommend taking higher doses of vitamins. There are times when extra vitamin supplements are useful. For example, folic acid is important in preventing birth defects in babies. So it's very important for women considering pregnancy to take a folic acid supplement before they're pregnant and for the first 12 weeks of pregnancy. But 40 years ago, someone came along who would transform the world's perception of vitamins. Someone so powerful that he would take them out of the hospital and the doctor's practice and into millions of homes and high streets. Linus Pauling was a scientific superstar. For example, if we consider a helium atom with a nuclear... As Albert Einstein remarked, Linus Pauling was a genius. He was so brilliant that he is the only man to win two individual Nobel Prizes, once for chemistry and once for peace. Two Nobel Prizes gave him this astonishing scientific credibility. In addition to being an incredible genius, he was also a very charming and charismatic man. Though he died ten years ago, his work on the structure of molecules is still the basis of modern science. Until pollen came along to revolutionize chemistry, the nature of the bond that held atoms and molecules together really was not well known, and pollen provided this foundation for modern chemistry. It seemed he could go effortlessly from one area of science to another. He had an encyclopedic knowledge of chemistry, physics, biology, and medicine. As a chemist, I have a background of knowledge that permits me to appreciate the new ideas, but I also uh, like very much uh, having new ideas myself. Or making... And in the late 1960s, the great man had a huge idea. Pauling became convinced that vitamins could not only prevent deficiency diseases, they could do something far, far bigger. He believed they had the power to prevent diseases that had nothing to do with deficiency at all. Diseases which threaten every one of us, like cancer, heart disease. They could even delay aging. The key, according to Pauling, was to take them in huge doses. Score. The proper intake of vitamin C helps keep one from catching cold. To this day, Pauling's claim that huge doses of vitamin C can prevent you catching a cold is popularly believed to be scientific truth. It helps ward off colds. Helps you to prevent colds. Prevents um, 
colds and flu. That's what I take it for. A Nobel Prize winner says that it uh, cures the common cold. Pauling's belief in taking large doses of vitamins has inspired a whole new breed of health advisors. Patrick Holford is one of the most popular and well-known. He is the author of more than 20 books promoting the use of supplements for good health. This is vitamin A. It's great for your skin. He has founded an institute for optimum nutrition. This is vitamin B. It's good for energy and it helps to keep your mood even. He believes that optimum health comes from physical activity, a good state of mind, and a nutritious diet. All topped up with large daily doses of vitamins. I believe that taking vitamin supplements not only adds years to your life, but also adds life to your years. Of course, there are other reasons why people decide to take vitamin C supplements. It's one of a special group of vitamins called antioxidants. Vitamins of such power, the believers ascribe to them properties that are truly remarkable. I believe they can protect your brain, your body, your arteries, and not only slow down the aging process, but keep you free of diseases from heart disease, cancer, Alzheimer's, all the tragedies of 21st century living. These huge claims are all because of how antioxidants work on something in our body called free radicals. Free radicals are unstable molecules that exist in our cells. They attack other nearby molecules, stealing an electron and with it an atom to become stable again. When the attacked molecule loses that atom, it becomes a free radical itself beginning a chain reaction. Normally the body can handle these free radicals. But if there are too many, cells can be damaged with devastating consequences. Free radical damage is associated with a number of diseases like heart disease and cancer and macular degeneration, but we also think that free radical damage to cells and tissues is a fundamental part of the aging process itself. Why we grow old is in part due to the activity of free radicals. But antioxidants, in particular vitamins A, C and E, mop up the free radicals and stop them from attacking our cells. A simple demonstration with nothing more than a piece of steak can show just how good vitamin E is at preventing free radical damage or oxidation. When you look at it in the grocery store, it's red and beautiful. That's the vitamin E that's protecting the meat from oxidation. What I'm going to show you is what happens if you destroy the vitamin E. So we're going to take this chemical and place it on the surface of the meat. That's going to actually destroy the vitamin E. Once the vitamin E is destroyed, the cells in the meat are swamped by free radicals. Within just a few minutes, the meat starts to turn brown and rancid. The cells have been fatally damaged. <laughs> 